An outstanding feature of the new Chevrolet is its remarkable riding and handling ease. In the city, on the highway, around the sharpest curves, over the roughest roads. In a new Chevrolet, you get the safest, most stable, most comfortable ride you've ever known. The reason is modern engineering. To Chevrolet, that means simpler designs of parts and components, so they work better and last longer. The new Chevrolet chassis is a classic example. Its outstanding performance is largely built around two simple principles, engineered to operating perfection. First, for all-around strength, nothing is structurally better than a box. This is just ordinary cardboard, but because it's shaped into a box design, it easily supports the weight of a 200-pound man. Let's see how this design is used in the new Chevrolet. The box girder frame is a famous Chevrolet first, but in its new design, it is 50% more rigid than ever before. One reason is that the various box sections of the frame are bigger and wider. Another reason is that with straighter side members and stronger front and rear cross member attachments, the entire frame is virtually a rectangular box. But here's the main reason. A completely new design for the important front suspension cross member. In the 1954 frame construction, the front cross member was a separate unit. The front suspension was attached to this cross member. Then the unit was bolted to the frame. It was good engineering. But Chevrolet engineers had a better idea. The front cross member is built right into the new Chevrolet frame. Precision drilling spots the attachment points for the front suspension. Then you've got what they call an integrated unit much stronger and much more stable. This simply means you don't have to worry about taking your new Chevrolet over wicked roads. The world's toughest test roads have already proved that. And here's more proof. You get plenty of extra strength and stability in the new Chevrolet. Now, where else in the new Chevrolet frame can we use the natural strength of the box? Well, here's an important place, at the frame ends. At both front and rear, the new bumper attachments make box-like structures with new strength and rigidity. And again, where most cars have a second cross member, the new Chevrolet has another kind of box. It's a unique structural arch called a plenum chamber and it helps bind the body to the chassis in a new and stronger way. These additional boxes give you additional benefits. The new structural arch makes an added contribution to greater riding and handling ease. And the other hidden boxes in the new bumper design give you extra protection against careless drivers. How much? Watch closely. This regular production new Chevrolet has no special reinforcement of any kind. And here's the result. Just front end sheet metal damage. In the new Chevrolet, there's plenty of extra strength for your safety and protection inside the car. That's how important the simple box can be. Now let's see how resourceful modern engineering can be with another simple principle. Nothing is easier to move around than a ball. And a ball can move in one direction as easily as another. The new Chevrolet front suspension takes full advantage of this principle. Here is true ball suspension. Two balls are used in place of the usual hinge type connections at these joints. The new ball joint is more durable and more trouble free. Its new flexibility permits elimination of old fashioned kingpins and it leads to other important design changes. First, the front coil springs and shock absorbers are now inclined toward the center of the car. 
this gives chevrolet's famous knee action new freedom to soak up the shock of rough road second chevrolet ball suspension makes possible a revolutionary new and exclusive braking feature this simplified drawing shows how with the old hinge type connection the upper control arm is kept parallel to the lower one this is also true of conventional ball type connections but the new chevrolet's fully developed ball suspension permits placing the upper control arm at a carefully determined angle to the lower one and at this angle position it automatically counteracts the usual front end dive when you put on the brakes only the new chevrolet gives you this extra comfort and assurance. And third, the new Chevrolet has a completely new steering system designed to work with the new ball suspension. Here, the principle of the ball is used again to give you easier, better handling control. This is an underneath view of the new Chevrolet's steering linkage. These are the links between the front wheels and the steering gear. These linkage joints are precisely located, so the entire system works like a series of balls turning on perfect centers. For example, most of the time, both front wheels are on the same level when they turn. But the ideal steering system is designed so that when one wheel is above or below the other, you still have what the engineers call true steering geometry. This simply means easy, sure steering in any and all driving situations. Instant response in any emergency. Safe, sure control under smooth sailing or rough. You get this kind of steering in the new Chevrolet. And here's another reason why. Under the hood, inside the standard steering gear unit, you find a Chevrolet feature formerly available only with power steering. Free rolling balls again. Only Chevrolet in its field uses them in the standard steering gear. And with almost no resistance, they start the front wheels turning the moment you turn the steering wheel. Here's the smoothest standard steering there is. And that assurance of easy control that makes for sheer enjoyment of driving. In a new Chevrolet, you always have that assurance. Because here we go again with extra performance and dependability in action. But we're not quite through with the ball. Let's talk about sheer stability. It is often assumed that the heavier a car is, the better it rides and handles. Actually, total weight is not really important. What is important is correct scientific weight distribution. All of the car's weight must be precisely balanced or sprung, as the engineers put it, around an imaginary point called the center of gravity. You get this in a new Chevrolet, plus a lower center of gravity than ever, plus a wider front tread for better front end control, and plus a completely new rear suspension system. The rear springs are the longest in the field and are placed outside the frame for better rear end control. The total result, almost unbelievable overall stability. And watch this. Here's more evidence of the extra reserve built into every new Chevrolet. And it all comes from the box and the ball. Two simple principles engineered to perfection to give you the kind of riding and handling ease often dreamed of and now achieved in the new Chevrolet. <laughs>